I think it's time we look at Wi-Fi Marauder again. Intro. Hello and welcome to Modern Broadcast. Today we are taking a look at our Wi-Fi dev board. This little monstrosity that I put together way back when. I actually used a lighter to seal it inside of here. Not not the best idea to do but i did so uh, this is forever in there until i break the plastic out so i was gonna do this is another episode into the flipper zero for beginners and my goal was to actually do kind of an introduction to nfc and rfid for a flipper zero however i feel like a lot of you would like get a little irritated like that's pretty basic for the flipper zero we will get to that so you know i'm only doing one video of flipper zero a month and uh, so i figured let's give the people what they want they want wi-fi marauder that is the most viewed content on my channel my most viewed video is the wi-fi marauders look at those boom boom and people it, it either works flawless or it has a ton of issues and it doesn't work so i figured now is a great time it's 2025 we're doing this whole introductory series so let's go ahead and knock out wi-fi marauder and before we get too carried away with today's video let's do a quick shout out to today's sponsor There we go. PCB Way. PCB Way is sponsoring this whole series that we're doing of the Flipper Zero for beginners. So uh, we are rocking our Flipper Zero here. They not only do custom PCB boards for prototyping and to make your creations come to life, but they also do 3D printing. And we're gonna be, ooh, my lights just went out a little bit. We're gonna be rocking our transparent green. There we go, look at that. Transparent green Flipper Zero that they printed, which I just absolutely love. I'm a big fan of green and uh, this is just so crystal clear so smooth and uh, definitely a treat to have our flipper is still very angry so without further ado let's go ahead let's get started with the wi-fi marauder update so just a quick overview of what we're going to be doing today we're going to go ahead and we're going to update our flipper zero to be the stock firmware but as up to date as possible then what we're going to do is we're going to flash wi-fi marauder over to our dev board this is the first version and you can tell some dev boards have a micro sd card mine does not so if yours does you can pretty much still follow these steps and and it will work for you. It's supposed to, you know, things change in the tech world all the time. So uh, let me know in the comment section if it doesn't work, we can try to brainstorm it, but mine does not have the micro SD card slot. So I just have the boot and the reset button. And if we see here up close, maybe keeps focusing on me. We see that my chipset is the Rover version, but it, it went out of focus. So you can tell, there we go. Just above my finger says Rover. So there is other versions of this dev board. Then there are custom dev boards that have a whole slew of different attachments and whatnot. Not, but we're just going to use the default original Wi-Fi dev board for this video. So let's go ahead and get started with updating our Flipper Zero. With that, there's our desktop. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our Type-C data cable that came with our Flipper Zero. Any Type-C cable will do as long as it can do data transfers. That's the important part. Plug it into our computer. Just kidding. There we go. Now that that's plugged in, we're going to go ahead and click connect. There we see our Flipper. Click connect. And as we see, I currently have Unleashed on this Flipper Zero. So we're going to go ahead and install the official release firmware 1.2.0. I'm going to go ahead and start that process. It takes about two, three-ish minutes. Our Flipper says that it's updating. The screen's going to turn on and off a few times while it does this update. All in all, this process takes maybe two, three ish minutes all right and now that that's done we have the official 1.2.0 firmware uh let's see looks like that build date was january 23rd in 2025 so we're gonna go ahead and click on apps now there we go and this is kind of the app store for the flipper zero which all of these are compatible with our specific firmware which is pretty nifty it's way easier than it used to be to try to get apps to work so i definitely recommend you check this out look for things that you might be interested in and uh, that's interesting they have a flipper 
Game Boy printer now. Anyways, what we're looking for is the Wi-Fi Marauder. All right, so here we have it under GPIO, Wi-Fi Marauder. We're gonna go ahead and click install. There we go, that is now installed on our Flipper Zero. We can go ahead and disconnect. The next thing that we're gonna to wanna to go to is FZEE Flasher. So this is a web flasher for Wi-Fi Marauder. And we're gonna eventually click this connect button here. But before we do that, it is imperative. If your Wi-Fi, if you have the original Wi-Fi dev board, you have a boot button and a reset button. Before you plug in your type C to your computer, you need to be holding the boot button down. Holding that down, you plug it in and you can let go. If it does not recognize it, you did it wrong, you gotta do it again. With that now connected, I'm gonna go ahead and click connect. Once we do that, we now get to select our board. This is so much easier and nicer than it used to be. So as we see, we have a whole bunch of different Wi-Fi dev boards. So all you wanna do is just find yours and then you're gonna click on it. Version, I want the latest version, firmware. Marauder is the one that we want. Black Magic is for testing. So we're gonna go ahead and click Marauder and program. It is now flashing our dev board here. Perfect. And uh, it's it's so fast. So Wi-Fi Marauder is now on the dev board. We're gonna go ahead and unplug it and coming over here to our Flipper Zero, as we see that firmware from earlier says success. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and plug in our dev board. You shouldn't hot plug things. I don't care, it'll be fine. So there we go, it's plugged in. It had a blue light and then orange. So just to make it uh, kind of easy, I'm gonna go ahead and share my flipper screen with you guys so that way you guys can see what's going on we're gonna go ahead and push enter go to apps we're gonna go to gpio and wi-fi marauder it's gonna ask if we want to save the pcaps to the micro sd card uh, we want to say yes to that it's gonna ask if we want to save logs uh, saving text logs of console outputs to the flipper sd card it's gonna use up a lot of space there's gonna be a lot of information that we don't need i'm gonna go ahead and say no personally but if that's what you're into go ahead and say yeah all right and here we have it so now with all of this the nice thing with wi-fi marauder is that now evil portal is baked in so they should both work at the same time we're gonna go ahead and hit the scan ap which means access points so we're gonna go ahead and hit scan we see our flipper zero turns blue the longer that stays open we start capturing different things however i have to blur it out we're just gonna go ahead and let this go for a few hopefully it's gonna detect our wi-fi that we're working the thing that a lot of people kind of run into is they're saying it doesn't work and i don't know if they already know that this only works on 2.4 gigahertz this does not work on the 5 gigahertz network so the good news is, is that a lot of houses with home wi-fi and whatnot there's a what's called a mesh network where basically the 5 and the 2.4 are working concurrently it's under one name and the devices that you connect to it are smart enough to know which one they're using based off signal strength so that might be all that we get i'm gonna go ahead and hit the back button and see if we got ours because i was looking at the camera and i wasn't looking to see if it, it detected ours so we'll just go ahead and hit back. Oops, there we go. And what we're going to do is check the list. Oh yeah, ours is actually right up there. Number one. Well, zero. Number zero. So it says channel five, but zero is the number. So that is our Wi-Fi. We're going to go ahead and hit back. We're going to select AP. And you want to scroll over to whatever number it was. So for our Wi-Fi, it was zero. We're gonna go ahead and push zero, save. So now it says that one was selected. So that is ours that was now selected. And we just scroll down here to sniff and we wanna click on PM Kid. So go ahead and click on PM Kid. And you can do passive if you want, if you don't mind just hanging out, if you're somewhere and you're just trying to connect anybody who may be connecting to the Wi-Fi. Passive is basically listening to the signals around it, trying to collect a handshake. And if someone decides to connect to the Wi-Fi at that time, this is like cafes, restaurants, things like that, the library, you know, it will grab that handshake, get the file that it, this doesn't hack the Wi-Fi. That, that's another thing that should be noted. So that this doesn't hack the Wi-Fi. Basically, it gives you access to the Wi-Fi password. It gives you, but we have to use other tools to then crack that. This is a testing tool. This is, it, it, we'll, we'll get to that. That'll be the end, the end, end talk. So passive basically just listens to this handshakes that are happening around it. 
and if it happens to catch one it will pull it and and put it in if you do active which is force d off so anything on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency basically you're telling the router shut it down anything that's connected on the 2.4 shut it down so it has to reconnect and if it reconnects the flipper zero if within range is going to take that handshake which is a four step handshake four things happen during a handshake when you're connecting to your wi-fi and there's a whole diagram that i might post up i might not this is for beginners so we're gonna not explain that for now <laughs> that gets a little bit more in depth but so active it forces that d off so everything disconnects from the 2.4 once they reconnect the flipper zero intercepts that and then gets the files taken care of so i'm gonna go ahead and click on that one as we see here our light turns blue again and the D off has st started. This takes five minutes, 10 minutes, however long, but we'll see them pop up on screen when it detects a handshake happening. And we see here we have a received EA poll. So it received a handshake that has been registered. Our Wi Fi dev board picked it up. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hit back, back again, just a few more times. There we go. And since we already have our Flipper Zero hooked up here, what I'm going to do. We're going to go ahead and check out the evil portal by going to apps, GPIO, Wi-Fi Marauder. Scroll on down. We need to set our HTML file. I created one right there. I'm going to go ahead and do that. HTML is now set and let's start it. So there we go. It's registering as my Wi-Fi and uh, it says that the server is up. All right. And there we have it. So I connected on my phone to the spoof Gengar on my computer, I'm landline plugged in. And so it's kind of fighting me a little bit. But if I was just connecting via the Wi-Fi, it then brings up automatically this little HTML file that I made. Not perfect, clearly. And there's some coding down there, but it's not a bad message. So there we have it. There is our Flipper Zero for Beginners on Wi-Fi Marauder with a little bit of Evil Portal mixed in. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see with the Flipper Zero next as uh, we're just going to kind of keep cranking these out. I am trying to kind of make a schedule where it's one a month and uh, right now the, the docket is for RFID and NFC a kind of overview. So, but I knew there was a lot of questions with this. This is with the stable version. You can do this with Extreme. You can do this with Rogue. You can do this. I think there's other custom firmwares. Unleashed is the one that I primarily use. Though I, I'm thinking about switching to Extreme. It looks like there's quite a few perks to that. So I'll probably make a video on updating via Mac and uh, Linux. Someone had asked me if you could do everything from your phone. If you could have your phone kind of set up your Flipper Zero and I, I don't know. I do want to kind of check that out. I have an iPhone. I have an Android back there somewhere that I can also probably tinker around with and, and kind of play with. But I don't know the if that will work or not. Check out modabroadcast.tv. We have some exclusive shirts and other merchandise. So go ahead and those will go away actually next month. So and starting next week's video, we're going to actually do a poll on which disappear and which stick around. So again, thanks so much for watching, guys. I know. Yabba, yabba, yabba. I know. Take it easy. Have a good week. Take care. Bye.